to the first episode of the best of the sequels. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors! A lot of people consider this to be the best of the sequels. Why? Well, let's talk about it. The first reason is Wes Craven returning to the franchise. Part 2 felt very different from the first one. You know, a lot of people don't like it, and one of the reasons why, in my opinion, is because Wes Craven was not involved at all. In this film, he came back to co-write the movie, and we needed that. We really did, and it was an amazing film. Another reason, Heather Langenkamp returning to the franchise as Nancy Thompson. Her presence was definitely missed in the second movie. Again, I'm sorry, I just, I don't like part two, okay? Nancy coming back to help these kids in the institution was fantastic. She explains to them what's going on and everything starts making sense to all these kids. And then they have to fight back against Freddy Krueger. Another reason. A new location. They're in a mental institution. I don't remember if it's Weston Hills. The same institution in Freddy vs. Jason. I don't remember. Um, they're not on Elm Street. You know, like in the second one. All of these kids are, you know, inside this institution. And it's a little difficult for them to get away from Freddy when they dream. And if they try to escape, like physically escape, the security guards will stop them. So you can see why it's a little difficult for them. Another reason, the story. The story made sense. The story was expanded a little bit, you know. You have Nancy trying to help out all of these people. And she, she tells them, she explains to them that they are all the last of the Elm Street kids, including herself. You know. Freddy's trying to get to them so he can, you know, complete his mission, fulfill his destiny, or whatever, to get his ultimate revenge on all of the Elm Street kids. And we get a backstory. We get a Freddy Krueger backstory about, you know, how he came to be, how his mother was locked inside of the asylum over the holidays, and all the patients attacked her, and unfortunately she ended up pregnant, and there you go. Freddy Krueger was born, the bastard son of a hundred maniacs. <laughs> and the final reason, Freddy Krueger was still serious in this film. This was the last one. This was the last film where we got a serious Freddy Krueger until New Nightmare. And then Freddy vs. Jason, he was also serious. A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, we, we had, you know, we still had a serious Freddy Krueger, but... That's when all the pranks started coming in. That's when the transition was coming in. And then five and on, it was just that ah, <laughs> fucking mess. But anyway, yeah. Those are my reasons why A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 is the best of the sequels. And it is one hell of a good time. So I'm pretty sure most of you have seen it. If you haven't, invite some friends over and check that bad boy out. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, follow 3 from the Grave, it's all in the description, and enjoy Strange Tober. <laughs> <laughs>